I'm not afraid of debates. WLBT invited both Thad Cochran and Chris McDaniel to debate. McDaniel has accepted. Cochran has not responded. I'm not afraid of debates. But if you're hoping to see these two candidates debate before voting day, you are out of luck. I'm not running to be a member of a debate team. I'm a candidate for the U.S. Senate. But some I people mean, might like to see you guys compare thoughts in one place. I don't think so. Cochran told our Mississippi Gulf Coast Fox station that he is not interested in the face-to-face. -face. I'm not afraid of debates. That he, uh, how do you say this? I mean, he, he rusty. He's not engaged. He yeah. wanted to retire. He's actively talked about this publicly. Yeah, but he was interested in retiring. Rusty's kind of an understatement for the way that he's conducted himself in this campaign. I think so. I, I think he, he, he signaled many times that he was leaving the Senate or he was, he was open to leaving the Senate. He didn't really have it in him for this campaign. I'm not afraid of debates. Thad Cochran is a wonderful man. As the distinguished Republican leader said, he is strong. He doesn't talk very much. He's silent most of the time. I'm not afraid of debates. Cochran is trying to avoid unforced errors, going to head-scratching extremes to avoid talking to us. We tried to catch Cochran after this event, but when an aide came out and saw us, they did a bait and switch. The car they told us Cochran was getting in screeched away without him, while he snuck out another door to a different car, leaving reporters like us in the dust, unable to talk to the senator. I'm not afraid of debates. He's like almost in the witness protection program. We never hear from the guy. I'm not afraid of debates. Uh, I, everybody wants to see a, a televised debate. Everybody wants to see you and Senator Cochran on the same stage, whether it's a town hall meeting, whether it's a conversation in a cafeteria at a school, no matter what it is. He seems to be avoiding you. What, what, what can you say about that? He has been avoiding us. That's the reality. He knows his team is mudslinging. He knows they're distorting a line about my record. There's only one way to get to the bottom of it. Meet me in a debate. Let's talk about his record. Let's talk about my, my record. Put aside the personal differences. Let's talk about the philosophical differences we, uh, we share. And let's uh, let the people hear it and make their decision. He doesn't talk very much. He's silent most of the time.